here is an easy way how you can install burnout paradise on your linux pc uh, i'm not saying this is the best way or the easiest way you can achieve your goal this is a way how i done it and i think it will work for you as well i'm unique using play on linux because it's really easy to manage uh, the software you installed on it so i choose play on linux over one plus i'm using 64-bit operating system it's much easier to manage wine on it so you can download it from their official website uh, the version you are using of linux the terminal command for me or the dev installer after you download it and install it you need to uh, start the application Play on linux okay After you start the application, you need to get the Wine version. I'm using 1.5.15 because it works the best for me at this situation. And it's the latest for now. And I'm recording this video. Okay. Get it. As you can see, I'm installing a 32-bit wine because of the compatibility. Uh, it works uh, much better than a 64-bit wine. Uh, I'm pretty sure this game can be run on the 64-bit wine, but while risky. After that, you need to press configuration, uh, create a new wine prefix. Name. Next. As you can see, it's creating a new wine prefix. okay it's great so now we need to install uh, the game we press run exe file now from your uh, disk select auto run auto run exe okay install uh, next I'll pause the video so I can enter the CD key okay enter the CD key okay except I recommend you read it I can't and install I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the installation is complete okay now we don't need an uh, EA download manager we don't need it press finish, finish. Uh, okay now I we need to update the game to the latest version uh, and then replace the ex executable file the update and the executable file will be provided in the description below and I must uh, warn you that your country's copyright law should give you the uh, right to change uh, your software or as with it. My country's copyright law gives it. Gives it. Mm. Mm, gives me the ability to do so. So read your country's law. It's very important. Okay, 
this when I start. finish now let's uh, open the wine prefix directory directory okay uh, so as I said will be uh, provided. Now let's open the game folder. And paste all files into it and replace the file it asks us to. Let's now create a shortcut. We'll almost finish. Uh, personally, I like to create a virtual desktop. You can skip this task if you don't want to. And uh, after all of this, the game will run pretty smoothly and properly. Okay, I'm gonna create it. If it will load. Yes. Fly, okay. So, let's run it. You can delete this file. Now select the settings you want to run, uh, after that save and exit and the game will start. Ok, thank you, see you for watching, hope it was helpful, please subscribe.